Hello, Shiv. So, today, ipapakita ko sa inyo ang child national team. Ituturo ko sa inyo yung rotation, yung build, artifacts, weapon to use, and anything related. And just note that it's not a dummy showcase. So, please watch until the end. Thank you! So yun natin lang nakita na natin yung child national team. If you just try to pause and play the video, then makikita nyo yung rotation niya. So ngayon, pag-uusapan natin yung builds ng Kazuha, Child, Benny, and Shanling. And for Kazuha, as you can see, mas prior ko yung Elemental Mastery and of course the Energy Recharge. Kasi nga si Shanling yung DPS natin dito with Child para si Child yung mag a-apply ng Hydro pag evade ni Shangling. Pag mag-evade si Shangling, I mean. So, the more na mas the more na mas mataas yung Elemental Mastery, mas mataas yung increased damage for Vaporize with Shangling and Child. For the Energy Recharge, of course, you need more pa. Mga at least 160 to 180% na Energy Recharge para consistent yung burst up time niya para malagi siyang may Swirl. For the weapon, if my Freedom Sworn to you, that would be great. And you can also use Iron Sting, which is craftable din naman sa Blocksmith if you have that sword. Pile, pile, what? Okay. And if wala naman kayo nun, then you can, you can use Sacrificial Sword, which is really great din for Kazuha, lalo na if maliit lang yung energy recharge nyo. Dahil nga may passive yung sacrificial sword natin which is you have a chance na mag cooldown yung elemental skill for 80% so good yun and for the artifacts of course we only have the very decent vener 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 okay so yan and let's start with the flower and for the flower of course as much as possible if my vv kayo na may em and er that would be great don't mind about the crit rate or crit damage or anything attack kazuha don't need that you only need your em and er okay so for the feather of course it find something the my em din and that plus 17 pa to. oh my gosh so wala nga akong ibang uh feather na my em or er so i'm using this one for the meantime of course and for the elemental mastery I mean, for the sands, I'm using Elemental Mastery. And if mas malaki naman yung Elemental Mastery nyo or may mga substat kayo from your flower or feather, then you can also use your Energy Recharge. But, I mean, your Energy Recharge sands if maliit talaga yung ER nyo. And for the goblet, of course, EM again and make sure na may ER na naman. What's this? And for the circlet, sad to say, wala akong EM na circlet for VV na set. And wala din akong, mahirap kasi mag off pace ng EM sa akin kasi rare lang lumalabas yung Elemental Mastery. If you're lucky to have lots of Elemental Mastery na circlet sa, sa VV nyo or ibang pang off pace, then better keep that one, especially yung My Energy Recharge. So, wala pa akong ano, kaya much better if you have um, EM, then better use that one for your Kazuha. And dahil wala nga akong EM dito, kaya yung focus ko lang is as long as I have the 4 set, 4 piece set for my Vivi, 
which is really good then kasi nga as you can see sa video if you try to replay that one after kung gumamit ng elemental skill kay Penny then sinad ko yun para magproc yung VV na 4 piece which is my mag decrease yung elemental resistance ng enemy and pag naswirl din yun so yan pag naswirl na yung pyro mag decrease yung elemental resistance ng enemy by 40% so which is really good in for Shangling kasi nga pyro yung naswirl and si Shangling yung mag DPS dito and for the constellation um, Kazuha is good at C0 and if you are lucky and if you have money to get his constant it's it's better din yung C1 niya dahil nga may parang may sacrificial sword which is mag decrease yung cooldown ng elemental skill mo by 10% and for talents of course Iprayo mo yung elemental burst mo, yung elemental skill, and your normal attack. And you need to increase or level up din yung normal attack nyo. Kasi may additional na planche, di ba? May additional planche attack dito. So, according sa description, if yung planche attack na naginawa ni Kazuha is caused by his elemental skill, then mag-create siya ng small wind tunnel like ihigupin yung kalaban pagit na like yung ganun, hoot 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 ganun, so yeah and that's for our Kazuha so for child meron siyang at least 1-8 na attack and dito naman is you need to get a good crit rate and crit damage and of course attack for child para siya yung magiging sub DPS mo with this team so much better, 60 to 70% crit rate, and if kaya, kaya mo gawin around 150 to 200 if kaya mo lang. For weapon, I'm using very decent hand. So if wala ka naman, hindi ka naman nagbi PP, then you can use another weapon like thundering pulse if na swerte hand ka, or yung polar star if sobrang swerte yung hand talaga. So pag wala ka pa din dun, then you can also use. Black Cliff na weapon from the shop if you have enough na coin to buy. Or if wala, then you can use this one. Most one additional attack for child. If wala din talaga, then you can use the prototype crescent which is craftable lang sa shop. So you have a lot of options depending din sa artifacts na meron ka. So, yun na. Dun mo na i-a-adjust sa artifacts if wala ka talagang ibang choice na weapon na gagamitin mo. And for, the, and for the artifacts, you can use a uh, four-piece Heart of Death. If hindi mo kaya ma, ma four-piece yun, then you can use two-piece na Heart of Death or two-piece na Shiminawa the, or HOD with two-piece Gladiator or two-piece na, na HOD and two-piece na No Please Oblige. So, it's better you, to have this two-piece set ng Heart of Death niya. Constellation, he is already good at C0. So for talents, yung pinalevel up ko is yung press and yung elemental skill niya. For the priority, you need to up his elemental skill first, then first. And eto yung elemental skill yung need mo para pang apply ng hydro every time na mag burst si Shang Ling. Kasi as you can see sa video, if you try to, to replay it, then consistent yung pag-apply ni Child ng Hydro and sabay masyado sa burst ni Xiang Lin. And note din, yung optimal na skill duration pag C0 yung Child no, is around 9 second, 10 second, 12 second, depende sa playstyle nyo or feel nyo na pag matapos na yung burst ni Xiang Lin is mag-switch na din kayo ng character o mag-switch na kayo ng stance ni Child. So, for the burst, of course, may dalawang stance tayo sa purse niya. If nag melee stance kayo, pwede niyong gamitin yung uh, melee stance ng burst niya if you only need one rotation para patayin yung kalaban. So, if nag-aabis kayo or marami kayong kalaban or makakapal yung balat na kalaban yun na hindi niyo makaya in one rotation, then it's better to use his range, uh, range stance na purse kasi nag-refund siya ng energy para makapag-rotate kayo again with your other, with your Penny, Kazuha, and Shangling. So next, we have Bennett. 
As you can see, malaki yung HP ng Bennett ko dahil nga siya ay healer. And yung pinapryo ko is yung ER niya kasi siya yung magbibigay ng energy recharge natin kay Shangling para may burst agad si Shangling and good yung rotation ng child national team natin. And for Bennett, uh, gamit ko ay Aquila Fabou niya dahil sa lahat ng weapon ko, Aquila yung may pinakamalaking base attack. And dito nagbe-base kung ilan yung attack buff na, bigay, na ibibigay ng burst ni Bennett. So, kung ano man yung weapon na meron kayo na may pinaka mas malaking base attack, then use that one for your Bennett. If wala ka lang Aquila Fabou niya, then you can use Skyward Blade. Or kung wala, then Freedom Sworn, which is you can also use that one for Kazuha, right? So, cross that one out. And if wala din, then the Alley Flash. Or if wala din, you can use the Frustering Desire, which is makukuha yun dati pa last year, last last year, sa mga old players talaga. And if wala din, then you can use Prototype Rancor, which is may malaking base attack na craftable din and free. So, use that one. And for the artifacts, of course, much better to use the Blaze of Light dahil nga may additional elemental burst damage. And yung 4-piece set niya is my additional na 20% attack for 12 seconds every time na mag elemental burst si Bennett. If ayaw niyo mag-farm ng Noblis Oblige, gusto niyo like efficient yung pag-farm niyo ng artifacts, then you can also use um, uh, Emblem of the Severed Fate. You can use that one. Ito talaga yung best artifact ni Bennett. And for the flower, yung... And for the flower, yung focus ko is my energy recharge. And same sa feather, energy recharge, then HP. And for the sands, I am using energy recharge. Kasi nga, child national team is like a quick swap team. So, I need like a limited purse sa lahat ng characters ko. And for the couplet, and for the couplet, I use HP para mas malaki yung HP ko kasi my belly is a tanky, tanky, like tanky, like boom, boom, like rah, ganun. Like, nag-charge agad, unga, unga moment. So, yun. if ayaw nyo naman mag-HP sa couplet ni Benny, if you want na may parang additional damage siya, then you could use a pyro couplet. And dito din, may ER din ako. The more... ER for Benny, the merrier, you know? <laughs> so, yan. For the circuit, you have the option na palakahin din yung crit rate or crit damage niya. At least mga 50 to 100, ganun. Or above, if you want. If you are very lucky sa mga artifacts niya, then you can use that one. And for the circuit, I can also use HP, pero wala na akong ibang na breeze na piece. So, eto. And, nahapan ko lang na may ER siya. If wala, then may HP. Pero ito lang yung talaga yung nasa sa akin. So, yun si Benny. For the constellation, of course, it's up to you if you want to join our cult. Like, join our cult for C6 Benny cult. So, yan. Uh, I decided na i C6 yung Benny ko dahil nga, as you can see, lahat ng mga sword, claymore, and pole arm welding na characters is may additional na 15% pyro damage na ma-infuse sa kanilang weapon. No matter what element they are, as long as they are using sword, claymore, or pole arm, then mag i na yung pyro. And kasi, that, kasi most of my TPS are pyro, so mag-decide ako na isisik si Benny ko. And if may kaso ka ka din, isisik si Benny, then consistent yung application ng pyro mo every time na mag-elemental skill si kaso ka, which is good for my child national team. And of course, my other Pyro DPS because I am Pyro Supremacy, guys. Pyro Supremacy, okay? And for talents, of course, if you are using Burst Support, dito sa team natin, si Benny ay Burst Support, so it's better to prioritize his Elemental Burst than Elemental Skill. If meron ka namang maraming resources, then you can up this one also, pero you can leave it at that since gagamitin mo yung Elemental Skill para pang dagdag ER or baging battery for Shangling. If gusto mo naman na masyadong masakit yung elemental skill ng Benny mo, then you can up this one. Or for Shangling or Pyro DPS, ibang klase ng DPS si Shangling, unlike sa iba, si Shangling, a 4-star character, pero medyo demanding sa lahat ng 
stats. I mean, hindi need ng ganun ka laka talaga na stats. Pero, as you can see dito, halos lahat may laman. Siyang Ling needs EM, additional EM, aside from Kazuha, meron din siyang EM, additional vape damage. Then, good crit ratio din. If you can, if sorry kayo sa rolls nyo, then you can up your crit rate or crit damage until 180 or 200 if kaya talaga. So, yun. For your ER, goal nyo at least 180 or 190 para every time na may burst na yung Benny nyo, or kazuha nyo, then may perso din yung siyang linya, then good yung rotation. Uh, for her weapon, I am using that much. If hindi naman kayo nagpipipi, -pi, then you can use the catch na makukuha nyo sa fishing. If may homa naman kayo, then siyang linya can use that one also. If may enough naman kayo na crit damage or crit rate and nakulangan kayo sa ER, then you can use Favonius Lance. If may proper, may enough naman kayo na ER, crit rate or crit damage, and EM, then kulang yung attack nyo, then you can use Wave Breaker si Finn. If nakulangan kayo sa crit damage nyo, then lahat yung ER, EM, attack, crit rate meron na kayo, then you can use Black Cliff na mukha nyo sa shop. If may enough kayo na coins, if may enough kayo na crit rate, crit damage, ER, and attack, then you can also use Dragon's Bane. Much better if R5 yung Dragon's Bane nyo, if meron kayo. If, if nakulangan naman kayo sa EM, then if may, if may enough naman kayo na ER, crit rate, crit damage, or attack, and nakulangan kayo sa EM, then you can also use Dragon's Bane. Much better if R5 to. If wala talaga kayo dito sa lahat ng na-mention ko, then you can also use Crescent Spike sa Shangling. Which is makukuha nyo, I think, um, sa Blacksmith, which is craftable din. Kaya nga, di ba? Shangling Impact. <laughs> if, if, and only if wala kayo, wala kayong weapon sa lahat, lahat ng na-mention ko, then you can also use Halberd. Where's Halberd? Basta Halberd, you can also use that one. And if wala, 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 wala talaga, then you can also use White Tassel, which is nakukuha nyo lang sa mga chest. So, yan, di ba? Shangling Impact. And, if nag adjust kayo dito, and if wala kayong ibang weapon, then, Yung i-adjust nyo na lang is sa artifacts nyo, which is, of course, you need um, good amount of EM, crit rate, crit damage, and energy recharge. So, for the artifacts, I am using Crimson Witch of Flames, 4-piece. Uh, and if ayon yung mag-farm dito, kasi nga, baka Crimson Witch of Pain and or hindi efficient sa farming kasi baka siya lang yung paggagamitin. Then, you can also use EOSF, which is good sa kanya din, which is really good din sa kanya. If wala din kayong EOSF, then you can use 4-piece wonder. If wala naman kayong crimson, then hindi enough for be good for 4-piece, then you can use 2-piece crimson witch of flames and 2-piece na wonders. So, that's also good. As long as may enough kayong EM, energy recharge, crit damage, uh, crit rate, and attack. So, yun si Xiangling. And for constellation, of course, much better if gold yun na magkasisik siya. Then, syempre, uh, along the way, makukuha niyo yan sa mga standard banner or sa shop if may enough kayong coins. So, ganun. For the talents, of course, yung prior niya talaga yung purse niya. Kasi nga, si Xiangling is a off-field DPS. So, magpo-purse ka lang, then, ayun nga, mag-change ka to child para mag-apply ng hydro para ma-vape ni Xiang Ling. So, eto yung prior mo. And for Goba, hindi mo na need na i-up talaga siya. So, you can level Goba until level 6 if wala kayong cons. Or until kahit level 6 na lang to. So, that's all for our child national team. If you have questions, you can leave a comment. And if may nakalimutan man ako may explain or parang may na-miss ako or may something na mistake content, then you can also comment down below. And I'll try my best na mag-research para sa ating upcoming videos. And meron din tayong national team, which is composed of Kazuha, XQ, Benny, and Xiangling. And 
nasa ibang video na yun. So, check that one out. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye!